Hi, I'm Takeo. Question received. I'm trying to create a long article in a specific word, but it takes a lot of time to connect and edit the sentences before and after. I think that part can't be helped, but I'd like to hear your advice on how to use this method from your experience, or how to create an article using the prompts I introduced in the video. Thank you for your question. In short, it takes a lot of time to create a long article in a specific word, but it can't be helped that it takes a lot of time to edit it. I think that's true. I think there is a need to edit the long article by hand. However, I believe that it is possible to simplify the flow of creating a long article and make the work more efficient. First of all, the disadvantage of cutting is that it takes a lot of time. When I was creating a sentence using Kateb, it took a lot of time to create a long article. It takes a lot of time to insert a title, click a button, and actually create an article. It also took a lot of time to create functions such as Kateb Chat and Kateb Writer. It also took a lot of time to create a long article, regardless of whether the language is Japanese or English. At this point I thought it would be better to automate the work of Kateb. Let's take a look at this. You may be wondering what this is. This is an automated flow of creating an article in Kateb. It's called Robotic Process Automation, or RPA. I'm using a robot to automate the work. Please take a look at this. Open the dashboard of Kateb and click on the next item. After clicking on this item, click on the next item. After clicking on the next item, click on the next item. I've set up a series of tasks like this. I'll actually run this. I'll press the button, then please take a look. A new window will appear. This window is controlled by this robot. All tasks are automated. Where to click, which item to specify. It's like this. Save and open a long article. Insert a specific text into the title item. Click on the button to specify the data source. Create a web page with this content. All of this is automated. It is automated by a robot. When a web page appears, delay it by a few seconds. Click on the button to start creating an article. It's like this. In other words, while I'm doing another task, I can run this task in the background. All of the tasks in Kateb are done in the background. It's very convenient. I'll pause the video. Like this. What I'm doing is creating an article in Kateb using a robot app. It's like I'm automating everything. Despite being in Kateb, I'm doing my best to automate all of the tasks like creating a text. As a matter of fact, I need to check the editing time, the flow of handwork, and so on. So I'm automating all of the tasks, except for the flow of creating a text mechanically in Kateb. However, if you look at this, you may feel that it's a little complicated and you can't do it yourself. You may honestly feel that. You may feel that it's a hassle to insert a CSS selector and click somewhere and click somewhere. There is an app that can be automatically automated intuitively. This is an automated app called Task Magic that is currently on sale at AppSumo. This can also be automated like the app I was using earlier. The difference is that Task Magic is more intuitive than what I'm using. The flow of creating an article in Kateb can also be automated using task magic. I'm going to explain a little more about this later, but first I'd like to show you what you can do with task magic. 
This is the dashboard of Task Magic. I made this just a few minutes ago, so please take a look. I set it up like this. Then click this button. Then a new window will open in Task Magic. This window is all controlled by Task Magic. It's written here. It's controlled by the software. Just like the app I was using earlier, you can automate all tasks. For example, click on a specific element and insert a specific text there. In this case, insert my email address in the email address bar on the login page of the login screen and automatically insert a password. It's like this. These are all automated now. It's also automated where to click. Just like this, by using Task Magic, you can automate your work in Kateb. Like this, the work is being done in the background. You can set a language like this, target an audience, and specify the target audience. All these tasks are done automatically. Like where to click, or like this, create a long article page automatically and automatically insert a specific text in the title item. It's like this. All of these can be automated. With Task Magic, when you are working in another window, it will work in the background. Let's pause it here. You can use Task Magic like this to automatically create an article in Kateb. Some of you may find it difficult to use but it's very easy to use. I'd like to show you how to set it automatically. Create a new automation from the dashboard of Task Magic. There is a button here, so click it. Then the window will open in Task Magic. For example, I will insert it in the URL of the dashboard of Kateb. Next, click here. You can see where to click, where to click, what to insert, how to insert an email address, how to click a password, how to insert a password, how to insert a checkbox, how to click a button. All of these tasks are recorded. It's all intuitive. Where to click, how to operate, everything is recorded like this. Everything you click will be recorded like this, so it's very convenient. The automatic flow of task magic created with this can be reproduced by pressing this play step. Open the screen of Kateb and open the login page. After opening the login page, insert an email address in this item. Then insert a password. Click the checkbox and click the button. Like this, everything can be automated. So I would like you to try using Task Magic. I think it's the easiest to use as an automated app. Even if you don't have knowledge of CSS selectors, you can use it without any problems, so I would like you to try this product. I bought this product on August 2nd. At first, I didn't recommend it. The reason is that I was a little worried about security, and there were a lot of bugs. I didn't introduce it because I thought it would be okay in this respect. However, after about 23 days, the bugs in Task Magic have been greatly fixed. From the official AppSumo website, there are a lot of information such as updates and security. I think Task Magic can be used with confidence so far. Currently, Task Magic has 59 reviews. Among the products sold by AppSumo, this is a very popular product. This is a product that can only be purchased by a member of AppSumo, so I will omit this. Other products have 2 reviews, 17 reviews, 14 reviews, 30 reviews, 4 reviews, 9 reviews, and 5 reviews. As you can see from the fact that Task Magic has 59 reviews, it is a product that is currently being sold on AppSumo. I think you can see that it is very popular and highly rated. At first I was worried about it. Now that the bug has been fixed,
I would like you to try task magic. By the way, Task Magic's official website is here. If you check the plan, even the cheapest plan costs $1, $1.199. In normal cases, it costs about 140,000 JPY to 160,000 JPY. That's a lot of money for a 160,000 JPY software. The middle plan also costs about 300,000 JPY. However, if you buy it on AppSumo this time, you can buy it for about $1.49. You can buy it for about 6,000, 7,000 JPY. So considering the automation of work, I think it's a pretty good price. The license tier 3 is also $249 and the functions are quite open. Still, it's less than 1 out of 10. As for the content of the plan, here it is. The plan for 4,799 JPY is $249. I think it's around here. So, I think it's pretty cheap. First of all, I think it would be good if you could try using task magic. When you think about the flow of creating a document or automating work with Kateb, it is more efficient to automate it physically. When you create a document with Kateb, you can use it as an API, but Kateb doesn't have an API yet. So if you want to make the creation of a document with Kateb more efficient, I think you should try using this automation app. It's $1.49 and has a 62-hour refund guarantee, so I think you can use it with confidence. The reason I introduced the automation app this time is because when you create a document with Kateb, even if it's a long article in Kateb, when you create a document with Kateb Chat or Kateb Assistant, it takes time to create a document. It's like this. It takes time to check the facts of the document and actually output it, so I think it's quite difficult to shorten it here. It's like this. The quality of the document itself is well done, but it takes time, so I think it's better to shorten it by using an automation app. I think it's better to shorten it by using an automation app. I think it's a strange answer, but I hope it will be helpful. Thank you for your question. Bye.